What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a what I eat in a day. So basically I decided to do this today just because I am home. I did take the day off. So normally during the week when I'm at work, my food can look a little bit different just depending on what I prep the night before. If I prep, sometimes I forget. Sometimes I end up at a drive through But I still try to make the healthiest choices when that happens. So basically I just want to share with you guys that I'm not on like a super strict diet. And two, I do normally grocery shop on Wednesdays. So today is Monday. So I'm running a little low on food. I'm okay with eating a lot of the same things all the time. So you guys are going to see, I think, snacks. I don't really have any cool snacks really. But I do have rice cakes, peanut butter. Maybe I can show you guys like a savory snack and then like a sweet snack with rice cakes i don't know we'll play it by ear but i'm gonna go ahead and make breakfast right now i'm having my lemon water i'm not very good at drinking water by itself so the lemon just adds a little tangy feel which i really really like i watch a youtuber hannah Oberg. she's a fitness youtuber i hope i didn't butcher her name but i saw her doing that really really like it so first lemon water and honestly, I'm still gonna make a coffee, so we're gonna go ahead and make coffee, I'm drinking my lemon water while I prep everything first. So let's go ahead and take you over here. So basically what I'm making today is just an easy breakfast burrito. So one whole egg, some egg whites, spinach, cheese. I'm warning you guys, right now my footage is not gonna be as amazing as other YouTubers and their what I eat in a day. Cause I saw some and I was like, wow, how did they get the camera up here and everything? Maybe they have someone to help them, but I unfortunately do not. I need to get a tripod that I can take everywhere so it can work out. But that's what we're gonna be doing today. Just a simple, I need to put oil, we're running out of that. Give me a second. So that is what I'm doing today, just a simple egg burrito because we like to keep it simple over here and I'm very, very basic. I try to eat healthy-ish during the week, but on the weekend is where I, I really don't try to restrict myself. Like I said, everybody's diet is different. I've been on macros when I was trying to gain weight. I've been to the point where I would watch my calories and I just like right now where I can just really have whatever it is that I want. So if I want chips, I'll go ahead and have that. I do what's good for the soul as well. And I do work out, try to work out at least five, four to five days out of the week. I used to hate spinach, but now I don't know what's new about it. I'm just like, well. So like I mentioned, I don't have a specific diet. I know everybody's bodies are different. Everybody has different likes. There's things that I might like that I don't like. So basically, I still try to follow a vegetarian diet, but I do eat seafood. Um, so fish, shrimp, you guys can see that. It's something that I do have. But you didn't want to show me love, tell me some. Also, don't try this at home. I remember my mom used to be like, look at the tortillas, and I would be so scared when she wouldn't have the little thing on there. But now I'm broke. So this is what we're looking at and this is what I'm having for breakfast. So these are the wraps that I'm actually using. I don't know, I really like them. So some avocado, egg whites, a whole egg, some spinach, some tapatio on there and that's my breakfast burrito. This is the coffee of choice that I'm having today. So you guys can see my full on burrito. Very simple, very easy, and this is one of my go-tos all the time. Burritos, taquitos, 
I'm always doing some kind of egg scrambled. So today I kind of switched it up by not adding any sausages or bacon or anything like that. So but this is something that I would normally add like little bits of it to this, but we're not gonna do that today because just not in the mood for it. Hope you guys like this easy, super duper easy and it's very, very filling and very, very yummy. So it is 2.16. I'm currently editing my YouTube video that should be up when this is up already. So I'm editing right now. I'm drinking a lemon water again just because it actually tastes really good. And then I have two rice cakes with peanut butter and jelly. So these are very easy to make. And I'm going to show you guys later another snack that I have shown before that I do with rice cakes. So this is like to satisfy my sweet cravings, you know, and then I'll show you guys more of a savory one, a savory snack in like a little bit. So yeah, rice cakes are super easy to find. They're everywhere. I usually get the ones that have the original ones. So they have like no type of spice or anything. They're not sweet, um, but they have different kinds um, and you can find them pretty much anywhere yeah pretty much anywhere um and there's so many things if you go on pinterest there's so many different ideas that you guys can do you can do like peanut butter with berries peanut butter with strawberries you can do so many different combinations and they're all so yummy it's fast it's easy i'm just having fish salad and some rice and nothing crazy just super basic because honestly that's kind of what i do a lot a lot of basic things pair always with like rice and salad i know it's kind of boring but that's why like on the weekends i do like indulging in different things so that's what i'm gonna have today for lunch nothing fancier nothing out of the ordinary just simple things now the weekend if i take you guys to you with me on the weekend that's where we get a little jiggy with it i love getting these just because they usually last me about two to three days so it's perfect to just kind of pair with my meal Just salad, a cup of rice, and then some fish. So. I normally do just eat your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, snacks in between. That's just kind of what works for me, so. Always figure out what works for you. I know there's so many people on the internet that you see, but Trust me, I used to be those people that would follow like my favorite fitness person and I just would notice that, you know, that diet or those workouts specifically work for that person because everybody's body is different, so it's something you have to remember. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. If you want a savory snack, you can literally crumble these up. It's gonna be like popcorn. And it's like a chip alternative by all means. Go ahead and do this. So I did one rice cake and then I'm gonna put some Uncle Tap. Tap a deal. Last meal of the day, and I'm gonna be doing some shrimp, rice, and salad. Same salad I used earlier. For the deal, just a little bit of oil in the pan. If you watched my last video, you saw that I did this exactly same, same, same thing. Really salt on your shrimpies, and then we're gonna put some lemon, some lemon juice. Sorry, this video is a little wonky. Okay, so you mix it all up, so it should look like this. You're just mixing, 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 mixing. And then boom, you 
put those bad boys in there. And you didn't want to stay forever, dance forever, no. So this is ma din din, so some shrimpies, rice, and the same Caesar salad I made earlier. So like I mentioned, you guys can literally get that and use it for multiple uses, times, lunches, dinners, you get it. So for dessert, I am having a Yazo chocolate fudge bar. Mm. You know, I've mentioned these before and they're really, really good. Um, you can find these at Target, Stater Brothers, all kinds of grocery stores have them actually and they have different flavors. My favorite is the mint chocolate chip, but I finished that box. So this is the one that I had, the chocolate fudge and it's more of a Greek yogurt. Yazo bar is pretty much my last thing for today. I'm just having dessert. You guys pretty much saw what I had for breakfast, my snacks, my lunch, my dinner, my dessert. The last thing that I do is always do is that I do. <laughs> the last thing that I always do is do have. The last thing that I do is always have a cup of tea. So that's what I'm gonna be doing later tonight, just to end the what I eat in a day, and or drink, whatever it is. But bomb. I understand that there are things deep underneath that you could never say But in the end you found a way to make us feel that we should never say But you didn't want to show Alrighty guys, so that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is chamomile that I'm having because I'm going to take a bath right now just to end my night. I feel like chamomile just helps my stomach settle i don't know about you guys but it does help me sleep at night so that's something that i do love about it or any tea i just feel i don't know it's a mental thing but for me it just really helps a lot so that's the last thing i'm having for the night and yeah i hope you guys found this video helpful and you just kind of got to see what i eat in a day it's not like this every day like i mentioned it's just today i was home i didn't go to work today so I just felt like I would show you with whatever it is that I had in my fridge. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you guys try any of the snacks, the yogurt bar. I know my like lunch and dinner was super duper basic, but that's it. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao, adios, besos. Mwah.